This is what education is. Come to me, I'll teach you how to become a king. You can't have you can't have any serious inquiry if you are not inquisitive about anything. But Papa can lie. Papa can tell you half truth. After that, my child never ever asked me a second question in her life. She is now 34, 35. And now they have fallen in love, and now they are living happily, and now they are called CEO too. Is it all? Mathematics can never calculate the whole. It is more than the sum of its part. all the schools that we have for teaching children you know i really think we need to change the whole system mm. we need, we need to change our politicians our political institutions mm. they are corrupt they are third rate they are vulgar you know they are just, uh, drinking man's blood they are eating away our money opportunities everything if you just see in india or any country take 10 20 top politicians mm. and see how much wealth they have right quite a lot and their connection with the top 10 businessmen they are both interconnected mm. and some religious guys this is the group the money maker the business guy the the, the religious heads and the ones who teach you moral science good bad god and this and all that and third one the politicians the one in power politicians mm. they are they are clique, a clique yeah and education system is also governed by them mm. they tell you what to read what to know not to read according to me all education that we are having it is to make you a weak mm. weak servant mm. weak servant full stop this is what education is come to me i'll teach you how to become a king you know and how to throw off this yoke of wrong education that you have and it is so old this education that it has become part of our culture Right. Is he? For example, I might be sure, but it is the same thought. This this thing that a child doesn't know anything, that he's a fool, that the teacher knows everything, and he has to be taught everything. This premise itself is wrong. The child is ten times, hundred times more sensitive and intelligent than the adult. the adult must learn from the child not the teach the child i never taught my daughter anything never one day when she was 4 or 5 okay she had just learned to speak a little she asked me papa what is this so i called her her name was alika i called her i said come here i said alika you are asking me what is this suppose let's take this what is this Suppose I say this is a, a, a spectacle which is used by astronauts. You know, when the people go outside, you know. So I say this. Or suppose I say this is used for underwater when you go underwater diving. Then you use this. How do you know? And I, I ask my daughter. She's a five-year-old. How do you know what I'm saying is true? You just accept what I am saying, no, Alika? She says, "Yeah." So I said, "Why would you accept what I am saying? Just because I am your papa." But papa can lie. Papa can tell you half truth, quarter truth, mm-hmm. one tenth of a truth, ninety-nine percent true. How many papas know the truth and speak the truth? Yeah. Okay. So I told her, Alika. There is only one way for you to know what this is. Pick this up, see it, smell it, taste it, put it, 
first you will know you know okay you know how it looks then find out who makes this you inquire about this who made the first glasses why they are used are they good for eyes you know are they but that's going to take a lot of work and and this is very simple papa what is this like you are asking what is meditation you should find out what meditation is not i so i i tell to people all the questions that you have all including suppose i ask you what is the name of your what is the meaning of your name your name is vaishnav vaishnav mm-hmm. and you say sir i don't know mm-hmm. now if you are you know, your inquiry and inquisitiveness inquiry and inquisitiveness mm-hmm. okay wanting to know wanting to know yeah both are same thing you can't have you can't have yes, any serious yes, inquiry yes. if you are not inquisitive about anything right. and there are many people in this world who are just not inquisitive mm-hmm. why not that they were born like that mm-hmm. they have been beaten to death by bad education mm-hmm. bad upbringing at home shut up don't ask questions no 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 don't do this no 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 don't no 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 if you see a indian parent 99% i have seen small children they are always saying no 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 nahi nahi friend what is this nahi hai they don't even understand that a child if i am a small child i have never touched this wood if i don't touch this wood if i don't play with this wood if i oh this is rough here oh this is smooth here oh i can see my face here if i don't play with how will i know what it is and if you are if i am touching you saying no you know and you are shouting at me you are big and you give me food i get scared so you are just killing my wanting to know the world around me you know and then i sit down and i tell you ha papa tell me what is god what is meditation like you know so after that my child never ever asked me a second question in her life she is now 34 35 she understood got there you know so please i hope you people understand you ask so many questions you ask a question it is your job to find out what the answer is my answer how do you know what i said about meditation what i said about anything is true how do you there is you think oh this one is saying that one is, you give some authority to me and you believe me this is the foolish thing that you have done uh, humanity has done and that is why we have all these authoritative religious leaders political leaders we have leaders in every field you know why because you don't want to lead your own life you don't want to be a leader you want to be a lazy human being you know stupid you don't want to use your brain don't want to ask questions don't want to find out do you should see the life of stephen hawking and if you say a man who's dying you can't speak he worked 30 40 years and went into the heart of black holes okay and went even a step ahead of einstein if he can work you know with so much enthusiasm you who have your senses together you know why don't you work why don't you find out so because life is huge it's very complex you have to set your heart on the things you want to know and not try to know everything i doubt if you can know everything you can generally know about everything generally okay through books also you should no it's not you can uh, you know when you read good scientific books good encyclopedias written by great scientists then they are talking facts so you can learn from that but you must check you must check and especially in the area of truth and meditation only your finding matters not my finding therefore a buddha would never make a buddha a krishna would never make a krishna a shiva could never be even parvati is asking doing on asking my lord what is the meaning of this then what is the you see so i frankly think this question answer thing that we are doing it's a game 
Right. Okay? Right. You are throwing it at me. I am saying all these words. And it's a game. I really don't think that you, my insight can become your insight. I have seen something. You know, I have seen the truth. I have seen the whole universe inside me. I have seen light everywhere. I have seen I am not the body. I have seen this universe is not real. It is projected from a point. I have seen all this. How can I give it to you? You have to see it, sir. So therefore, set out on your journey. Do your thing. Become an adventurer and be fearless. And go into the heart of truth yourself. If you want to know about rafting, if you want to know about mountains, climb mountains, go into the river. If you want to know about sky, go into the sky. Give your life to space as, you know, being an astronaut. You have to devote, dedicate your entire life to something to understand the truth hidden in it. To find the fundamentals, to find the principles hidden in it. You know, and if you see all these great scientists, they spent 40, 50, 60 years with one theorem, with one thing, you know, and sometimes they succeeded, sometimes the next generation succeeded, sometimes the third generation succeeded. Because that work was carried on by his disciple, by his disciple, and after 300 years, they cracked it. Okay, 300 years asking the same question, you know, and coming to the answer. And we are not ready to give even half an hour. We, you know, maybe like everybody I hear on YouTube, attention span has become very short. So make short videos, you know. Yes. Sir, I want to ask you one thing. Everybody, there's a lot of rampant cancer. So give people medicine so that more cancer happens. This is what you are saying. Attention span has become short. So make short videos. Stop people from having short attention span. Okay? Why question that? Break it. Why can't you have? And if you can't have attention, if you are not interested in anything in life, nobody can teach you. And I think this thing of somebody not being interested in something. See how I I, I have learned about it in school. There were teachers who were teaching me chemistry. Okay, yeah. I was in 8th, 8th mm -hmm. and 9th I'm talking about. So, I used to look at this formula, CO2, this, 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 and it became, first it was simple, hydrogen is this, <laughs> this, then it became H2O, even then it was okay, <laughs> then CO2 it was okay. Now CO2 plus H2O plus CO2 plus CO2. I said there is no end to this formula there. Okay, so I was just losing interest and I said, you know, it's like somebody is giving me a fat mathematical book mm -hmm. on the chemistry of this chashma. Why do I need to know the chemistry of the chashma, yeah? Mm -hmm. You know, okay, I know this is plastic, I know it gets melted, this, that, I know a few things about it. Not how many hydrogen atoms have gone into it and oxygen atoms, you know, why? So I was getting bored with it and I was losing interest and I thought just it is like you know I can give you a glass of water but I am asking a child the child is thirsty and he is saying give me a glass of water and I am saying now tell me what it is made out of what is the chemical <laughs> I mean it will even die yeah, before you see so it's not needed so now I am losing interest in chemistry in nine comes a teacher his name was Mr. Mishra Okay. And he said, carbon okay, is falling in love with oxygen. Okay. And now they have fallen in love and now they are living happily and now they are called CO2. <laughs> I said, ah. <laughs> so I'm telling you as a story go. Yeah. Actually, they are actually coming together, meeting, uh, making relationship, becoming what? He started telling it as a story. Mm. Immediately, that one year, we st never started missing a chemistry class. Mm. In fact, they were saying, wow, chemistry, you know? <laughs> ah. So therefore, what is interest? Everything can be interesting if the man who is teaching you or the book he is showing you, the film that, you know, is 
opening the subject to you. It is very, very interesting. And interesting, what interests us is something that what kind of knowledge in CO2, H2O, why it doesn't interest me? Because I cannot connect it to my daily life. Yeah. Where is CO2, H2O in my daily life? But cold water, hot water, fire, huh? I will fall from the bed, break my head, climb a tree, eat a good apple. Uh, somebody will hug me. This is my mother. She takes. This is my real life. Mm. So if the knowledge which you are giving is connected to my daily living, mm. it is our So if you are giving somebody information or knowledge which is not of use to him, why are you giving it to him? And does he? I say, okay, I can understand that if I have enough knowledge about my day-to-day -day activities, then I might say, ask you, okay, sir, tell me what is a black hole? Black hole is not part of my real life. Okay, even black hole, I would say, if there's a great teacher, he will connect it to you and your daily living. Only then black hole will be interesting. And now I tell you the bigger picture. The bigger picture is that in the universe, the, the universe is vast, 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 vast. But the furthest point of the universe, which is expanding right now, okay, it's connected to me sitting here. The furthest point. All the explosions that are taking place is connected to me. It's my universe in which a part is exploding. The sun's birth and the sun's death is connected to me. The moon, the stars, the divine beings, the whole thing, known, unknown, going to be known, never known, will never be known. All that is connected to me, is connected to you, is connected to everybody. Okay? And that is why when, when I say this, what is the proof? The proof is very simple. The atom is like a small universe. Why is the atom like a small universe? Because the universe has made the atom. And the atom has made the universe. It's very simple. So in Upanishad, we have these famous lines, which used to be very favorite. I used to love those lines and many people like it. And you might have heard it. It says, from the whole, whole means the totality. What that totality is, nobody knows. Don't think A plus B plus C is whole. No, A plus B plus C and more than that is whole. Therefore, mathematics can never calculate the whole. It is more than the sum of its part. How much more, we don't know. Okay, so it says from the whole Purnamada Purnamidam. From the whole comes the whole. And when the whole is taken out of the whole, still the whole remains. Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vishishya. Thank you and my energy is finished. <laughs> Kindly subscribe and share our videos.